People are sure that Nord is the iPhone of VPNs. It has great design, it's innovative, it has great features, and a lot of people are using it. But the times are changing. Is it still true? Let's find out. I'm Josh from VPN Mentor, and I did a complete mastery review. I'll start with the bottom line. It's great for streaming and unlocking content. It's secure and private like no other. It breaks geoblocks better than other VPNs. But not everything's perfect. The mobile version lacks some elements, and the price is a tricky thing. But I did manage to find the lowest prices, and I put a link down in the description. Now let's dig in. So let's start with the app itself. Nord has one of the largest VPNs with 5,000 servers in 60 countries. That's massive. This means that Nord can bypass almost every geoblock. I had no issue with the interface, it was clean and user-friendly. Switching servers and browsing the tabs was smooth and easy. It's really good for beginners. The mobile version of Nord is a bit weird. The iOS version has more encryption protocols than the Android version, but the Android app has access to the double VPN ability that splits your browsing data and makes tracking harder. What's with those inconsistencies? Well, I've tested it and found out it's because of Apple's limited security policy. And the performance is rather similar in both apps. They also have great features like LAN invisibility setting, which hides your device on the local area networks. Auto connect for true one-click VPN protection. This means that if you're short on time or you just want a fast and good connection, one click and you're in. Onion over VPN servers designed to provide extra protection while using Tor. It also has dedicated IP servers, which is useful if you need a static IP address for banking and other purposes. Their kill switch is also quite unique. It has an ability to separate which apps to kill or not to kill in case of a crash. Scrolling down, you'll find the advanced settings like DNS and protocols. If you want compact, they have a mini version that doesn't have much to it. But if you're into simplicity, it will be great. They support Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Android, iOS, and Android TV, which is practically any device. Browser extensions for Chrome and Firefox are also included, but keep in mind that these are proxies and not full-fledged VPNs. NordVPN also allows six simultaneous connections, which is enough for a small business or a big family. The only thing I didn't like is the map on the VPN app. It looks so crowded. Look at Europe. It looks like Black Friday at Walmart. The app is great with many features and a huge variety of servers. But no matter how great the app is, it really means nothing if there isn't fast servers. So I checked out a bunch of different servers on Nord. Starting off with a 72 megabits download and 34 upload. Quick connect server, only 4% decrease. I'm not a big fan of the fastest server feature. It's not always accurate. Other servers average of 10% decrease, which is pretty low. My tip? Search for different servers and don't rely on the fastest server feature. Nord showed some great speeds. I'm going to give them a 4 for speed. So what about streaming and torrenting? Nord has a Smart Play DNS feature. In short, it's a system that sits within each Nord server and helps break advanced streaming geoblocks. It also has a lot of information and suggestions regarding streaming. Did it work? I tested Netflix, Hulu, BBC iPlayer, Amazon Prime Video, and Disney+. Plus. They all worked perfectly. As for torrenting, I found it amazing. More than 4,600 servers, all dedicated for smooth torrenting. It also has a wonderful server recommendation tool. So I found Nord to be one of the best VPNs for streaming and torrenting I've ever tested. So I'll give it a five. It doesn't matter how fast a VPN is if it's not secure. Nord had a security incident in 2019, and one of its third-party suppliers was breached. The leaked data was well encrypted, so no harm was done. And this proves how critical secure infrastructures are when choosing a VPN. In fact, Nord was recently audited by a big four accounting firm. They confirmed Nord's claim for privacy and security. As for encryption, Nord has one of the strongest combinations available. A bulletproof AES-256 CBC encryption, which is very strong. Nord is one of the most secure VPNs I've seen. And it will be suited for users who know how important security is. So for that, a 5. So let's talk privacy. Rumors recently surrounded NordVPN. If you subscribed to Nord in the past via PayPal, you might have noticed something odd. You were paying the Panamanian company behind NordVPN, which was listed as CloudVPN Incorporated. CloudVPN is also shown as the developer of NordVPN's Android app on Google Play. Now, CloudVPN is a registered US company. Why was NordVPN using an American company for PayPal transactions? And why does it still do the same for its Android version? And more importantly, does this affect user privacy in any way? Panama equals privacy, US, not so much. 
I did the research about this and it turns out you shouldn't worry too much. The reason they have an American collector is because money straight to Panama is suspicious. So I feel secure about them and you should too. As for logs, Nord has a strong zero log policy and Panama is a safe place for that. The only thing they do collect is your email address and payment data. As for ad blocker, Nord has one of the best ad blockers I've seen. It's called Cybersex Suit. It works like a very tough bouncer at the club. It even skipped entire YouTube ads for me. Regarding leaks, I chose a random server in Germany and found it leak-free. So as for privacy, just like security, seems like a strong five. I believe that a good customer support shows that the VPN cares about its users. So how is Nord? They have a 24-7 live chat and I tested it out. They were instant, friendly and very detailed. So I found the customer support to be a professional experience and I'm gonna give it a five. So how is Nord's pricing and is it worth the money? The one month subscription is a bit pricey and the one year is more reasonable, but the three year deal is very cheap and makes this premium vendor even cheaper than many smaller budget VPNs. You should know that you can't buy NordVPN with PayPal. They supported it once, but they no longer do and Nord says the new unified payment system is more secure that way. I think users who like to keep their credit data hidden can rest assured. We already saw how good Nord's infrastructure protection really is. They are smart about showing prices. They kind of cheat. They know that if you're going to search for them on Google, then you're most likely to already buy a subscription. So they're not going to show you the best prices. So how do you get past this? I put up a link for any discount I see. This link updates daily, so make sure to check it out in the description below. Nord is a bit pricey, but it's one of the best values I've seen, and using the tips I gave you, it isn't that bad. The main flaw is that you can't pay with PayPal, so I'm going to give it a 3.5 in pricing. People are sure that Nord is the iPhone of VPNs, and this is still true. I found Nord to be reliable, fast VPN with many features. Its main flaw though is that you can't pay with PayPal, but it has very high quality, it's safe and secure, and it's simply a great value for your money. So right now it seems that Nord is still the best, and I'll keep on testing it in the future to see how it holds up. More and more streaming services are launching. Online censorship and cyber crimes are on the rise, and these will bring tough new challenges even for the best VPN. So don't forget to use the link I put in the description for you to find the lowest prices available. If you want to thank me for this, do it by a thumbs up. And leave a comment down below, is Nord your iPhone? See you next time.